Oh, hello everybody, still here with you. We're going to learn a little about logarithms today, okay? You want to learn how to say that with me? You might want to do a Google search on this too in case you're a little stuck on this topic, okay? Logarithms, logarithms, that's how you say it. And logarithms aren't really that complicated. It's just a kind of backwards way of thinking that we're not used to phrasing things, okay? So we're going to get a little definition real quick, okay? Log of any base. This number right here is called the base. And don't worry if you don't understand what, why it's down there or anything yet, okay? Just focus on the way that we're going to use the notation, okay? So log b, we say log base b of x, okay, equals y, all right? And what does that mean, okay? If I tell you that the log base b of something equals y, what does that mean? It means that, we'll just write it right here. It means that b to the y equals x, all right? That's all it means. It means that this number to that power equals the number in front. Now, this might seem kind of congested thinking, but actually it helps you solve a lot of equations that we've never thought about how to solve them before, okay? They're called exponential and logarithmic equations, all right? We'll study those a little later. Today we're going to focus on the basics of logarithms, okay? So all we're going to do is try to express our logarithms. We're going to turn it from this form into that form to make sense of it, okay? So I don't know what log base 3 of 9 is right now. I mean, I, I, I know what it is, but let's pretend we don't know what it is, okay? So put an x, okay? And we're going to solve for it, all right? So whatever number this is right here, what this says right here, it says that... 3 to this power equals 9, all right? So log base 3 of 9 equals x just means that 3 to the x power equals 9, all right? And what this is really trying to express is the number. Well, what number does x have to be? If 3 to the x equals 9, come on, right? What is 3 squared? 3 squared is 3 times 3, and 3 times 3 is 9, right? So that means x has to be 2. x has to be 2, okay? So we would say that the logarithm base 3 of 9 is 2, okay? And if this word logarithm is confusing you and you're like, why are there so many letters? And why is it subscript? Why is it written down, okay? The reason it's written subscript so you can tell it apart from this number, okay? It's written subscript so we can distinguish it and know this is the base. This is the number that I'm going to raise to some power to make the number that we're taking the logarithm of, okay? So really, this is log base 3 of 9. It's the logarithm base 3 of 9, and that is 2, okay? Because 3 to the 2 equals 9. It gets easier. It'll feel easier if you keep working with me, okay? So let's check it out. We know that we're trying to find out what power do I have to bring 2 to to get what value? To get this one. Because this says logarithm base 2 of 64. So we're trying to find out what power do I have to bring 2 to to get 64. Now there's a few ways you can do this, all right? One way that I like to use is the brute force method. It just means write down everything and just go on a list. Don't try to be fancy or come up with a trick or memorize anything. Write down every single power of 2 to make sure that you don't skip anything. So 2 to the 2 is 4. 2 to the 3 is 8. 2 to the 4 is 16. 2 to the 5 is, well, yeah, these are 2 times 2, and 8 times 2 is 16. So 16 times 2 is 2 to the 5th, and that makes 32. But we're still not there. Now, if I do 2 to the 6, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That equals 32 times 2, and that's just 64. Okay? So we can see that if 2 to the 6 equals 64, then x has to be... 6, okay? So we would see since 2 to the 6 equals 64, x has to be 6. So what we see is that the logarithm base 2 of 64 is 6. Because all this says is what number do you have to bring 2 to, what power do you have to bring 2 to, to get 64, all right? 
you won't always have to make a list like that, right? Hopefully you guys will remember some of your times tables and not have to make a long list, okay? So here we got another one, okay? We're trying to figure out another way to read this, okay? You can read this log base 3 of 81, but if that sounds like Martian, how about you say it like this? 3 to what power equals 81? That's really all this is saying, okay? Let's practice again making our list of brute force. 3 to the 1 is 3. 3 to the 2 is 3 times 3, and that makes 9. 3 to the 3rd is 3 times 3 times 3. That gives us 27. We're still not there yet, all right? Well, look. 3 to the 4 equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And this is 3 times 3 is 9, and that's 9. And we all know that 9 times 9 makes... 81, okay? So what power do I got to bring 3 to to get 81? I have to bring 3 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. I got to bring 3 to the 4th. So we'll say 3 to the 4th power equals 81. Therefore, the log base 3 of 81 is 4. All right? So let me get you on to the next one. And I will tell you, try this problem right now. Make your list, right? 3 to the 1, 3 to the 2, 3 to the 3, 3 to the 4, and try this problem. I'll go ahead and hit pause right now. Try to work out the problem on your own, all right? I'll wait. All right, you done? You got it? Let's check it out. Well, 3 to the 1 is 3. And Well, actually, let's just skip. We already knew 3 to the 4 was 81, right? So what's 3 to the 5? That means 81 times 3, and 81 times 3 is 240 plus 3. Oh, go figure. You get 243. So that means if we want to rephrase what this expression is asking, it says evaluate each expression, okay? What is this trying to express? It's trying to express what number do I have to bring 3 to, what power do I have to bring 3 to, to get 243. And what number do we have to bring 3 to to get 243? You have to bring 3 to 5, right? So then the log base 3 of 243 is just 5, all right? So far, so good, all right? These ones, I hope you got 5, and I hope you got the answer. Now we're going to study a little more advanced, a little more challenging, but still pretty elementary way of doing these problems, okay? Sometimes you're going to get fractions, okay? And for this to make sense, you have to already kind of know what any number to a negative fraction. So 4 to the negative 1, that means 1 over 4 to the positive 1. And 4 to the negative 2, that means 1 over 4 to the positive 2. You might remember the general formula that x to the negative y equals 1 over x to the positive y. So if you have a negative exponent, you can make it positive, but you have to make sure that it's 1 over the positive exponent that you have, okay? So make sure that you write it like that. Well, what is 1 over 4 squared? Well, 4 squared is 4 times 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. So what power do I have to bring 4 to to get 1 16? I have to bring 4 to the negative 2 power. So hopefully you can see the pattern that's going to emerge, all right? is that when you have a negative number, you're just going to take it over 1 and then just pretend that it was positive, right? You have 4 squared. 1 over 4 squared is 16, right? We just pretended that it was positive, but it is 1 over that, okay? And that helps you solve it. Because again, all this is saying is what power do I have to bring 4 to to get 1 16? That's really what it's asking us. And we saw the power I have to bring it to is negative 2, okay? Now, for 10, you see we have a bigger number, all right? So we better, we better check all of our outlets. But let's see, what does this want us to do? Don't forget that logarithm only means what power do I have to bring this number to to get the number in the box, all right? Well, that's 5 to the x equals 1 over 125. Let's just make a list again. Okay, make sure we touch everything. So we got 5 times to the 1 power is 5. 5 squared is 5 times 5, and that's 25. And 5 to the cubed is 25 times 5. 
and that's 125. So now, what happens if I make it 5 to the negative 3? Well, you should see the difference between these, okay? The only difference is the negative, right? But what you have to know to do is some of the numbers are going to be the same. This 125 is going to be the same, but it's going to be underneath, okay? So just make sure that you remember that when it's negative, go ahead and take the 5 to that power, take the number to that power, but make sure that you put it underneath 1, okay, if you're going to do that. So we can tell right now what's our answer. What power do I have to bring 5 to to get 1 over uh, 125? It's the negative 3 power. All right, it's the negative 3 power. So try number 11 real quick. I'm going to give you a second to work on it. Go ahead, press pause on the YouTube, and I will wait for you guys to solve it. All right, you got it done. Let's see how it goes. So you got 2 to the negative 1. That equals 1 over 2 to the 1. 2 to the negative 2, that equals 1 over 2 to the 2. But what is 2 to the 2 power? 2 to the second is 4. So really we see that 1 fourth is the same thing as 2 to the negative 2. 2 to the negative 3 is 1 over 2 cubed, and 1 over 2 cubed is 1 eighth. So we see 2 to the negative third is the same thing as 1 eighth. All right, bear with me, because we're about to get to the answer. So this is 1 over 2 to the fourth, and that equals 1 16. So now we see we're going to get it at this point, because double 16 is 32. So we have 1 over 2 to the 5th, and 2 to the 5th is double 16, and that's 32, right? So what power do I have to bring 2 to to get 1 over 32? I would have to bring 2 to the negative 5 power to get 1 over 32. So that means that log base 2 of 132 is negative 5. Because all it says is that 2 to this power equals this, all right? So let's give you the last one, okay? This is going to be the last exercise for our video series on logarithms right now. Give it a good shot, all right? Go ahead, press pause, and I'll wait for you. Go ahead. And let's see how you did, all right? Let's see if you did it right. So, we know 7 to the 1 is 7. 7 to the negative 1 is 1 over 7. We know 7 to the negative 2 is 1 over 7 squared, right? But that just means 1 over 49. 7 squared is 49. So 7 to the negative 2 is really 1 over 49. So this answer is a negative 2, right? We didn't get enough. So we're going to have to try one more. All right? 7 to the negative 3. That means 1 over 7 cubed. And what is 7 cubed? 7 times 49, that makes us 343. So, again, just to rephrase what the logarithm is asking you, it says 7 to what power equals 1 over 343? And that's really what it wants you to put right here. The number that's going to go here is that x. And what's the x equal to? It's equal to negative 3. Because we see 7 to the negative third equals 1 over 343, okay? So, I hope you have uh, fun working on all these exercises, right? Don't be afraid to have your practice test right in front of you when you do this. And uh, rewind it if you've got it, okay? Go ahead, take your time and make sure you master these logarithms because they're going to be all over the final. All right, guys? Good job.